Good afternoon. I am Mayor Katie Rosenberg here with the Marathon County Health Department Health Goddess, I believe is your official term, Thank Laura you. Scuderi, <laughs> um, to talk about the three things you need to know about this pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, Laura, for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mayor Rosenberg. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here to talk about the three public health things today. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. I think we should continue this forever because I have a lot of different public health questions that maybe don't fit in this genre, but fit in other genres. So stay tuned. Maybe three other things. Well, I love talking about public health, so <laughs> That's we're good. in good company. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Public health nerds. Okay. So first question, I'm hearing a lot about double masking yeah. and I want to know, am I supposed to be doing this? What's the point? All of the things about this. Is it yeah. just silly? <laughs> well, we appreciate people being interested in masking because at the very least, we want everybody to wear a mask when they're going to be around other people or in the public. So when you do wear a mask, we ask that they just make sure that they it's fit snugly and it's over your mouth and your nose. Um, we have, uh, the CDC does have information about two masks out there, Katie. Uh, yeah. One is that if you, two masks are good, there, there is some research to, to, that says that they are better than just wearing one mask. Um, they recommend that if you do wear two masks, you should wear cloth over a disposable. And yeah. if you're wearing an N95, don't wear a second mask. Oh, just the N95. Okay. Just N95. I don't um, have one of those, so that won't affect me, but Hey. Healthcare workers, if you got one, <laughs> just one. And then, um, if you are if you're trying to go for two masks, two masks, don't wear two disposable. Wear a cloth oh. and a disposable, and wear the disposable under the cloth. Okay. So, yeah, that's a lot. So okay, go. we got this. That's a lot so. of info. That's a lot of info. <laughs> but I mean, the, the key is that on the CDC's website, they have information about that. What that okay. looks like. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So Perfect. Mask CDC. You'll get all kinds of really good info on how to wear your mask. Okay, so when you're late at night, need a little bit of reading, check it out um, and get your mask on. Okay. Yeah. So my second question, I'm just checking yeah. my list here. Yeah. Oh, vaccine. Yeah. Um, hearing a lot of questions about how this was rushed, all of the things. Is it safe? Yes, so it is safe. Um, the two approved vaccines uh, have been through the clinical trials. So um, the one of the big differences is that they ran clinical trials um, at the same time rather than one after another. Um, uh, so yeah, so I mean, that's part of the what was sped up about it. Um, they are under emergency use authorization. So it's a little bit different than a vaccine that has been through like longitudinal studies. So they haven't studied it for years because coronavirus is a novel virus. It's new. So, um, but the, the thing that to know is that we're, when you get the COVID vaccine, we're not giving you COVID. Like you won't test positive for COVID. What it is, is basically it's teaching your body how to recognize COVID when it sees it. That is great. And, you know, I've heard some concerns. I'm throwing a wild card at you here. I've heard some concerns, you know, because it's an mRNA um, vaccine um, that it changes your DNA. And we were talking a few weeks ago mm -hmm. about how that is, that's the way that it teaches your body to react to it. Um, but it's not changing your DNA. No. So what it does is it, um, and it gets, I don't want to get too far into the science, but it's, it's truly fascinating, Katie. So um, I, if you I ever want, want to nerd to, out if you want to, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but really uh, you're um, giving your body the ability to make little parts of proteins so that your body can recognize it. And one of the ways that I've heard it described is like your, your cells are taught a bit of a song so that they could recognize the whole song when they see it. Oh, that that's great. It's, so it's, it's really like the Shazam of vaccines. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my last question, um, because we're only doing three questions, despite the fact I want to ask 20. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to watch a 50 minute video about this. So my last question, there's a lot of discussion about people who are able to get this vaccine. So, you know, anecdotally, maybe this 22 year old that I work with got a vaccine and he's not necessarily on that approved list before my dad, who was just about 65, how is this happening and, and why is it happening? And, and should I be concerned? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a big question we get all the time is, you know, someone uh, knows someone that is not in one of the eligible groups that somehow was able to get vaccine and like um, that, 
that happens. And the reason why it happens in our, uh, in our county is because at the end of the day, the priority is to make sure that there's no vaccine waste. So our, our number one priority is to get it into eligible populations. Um, but truly when we have the choice, whether or not, when any of the registered vaccinators have a choice, whether or not to waste vaccine or simply administer it, they choose to administer it. And sometimes it's the person that's nearby. Um, but generally, what, what all the, the healthcare organizations that I've been working with have been doing is they've been putting together, um, you know, they've been they're looking at the individuals that are waiting to get their vaccine, and they're working through those, those um, people to get them on in quickly if there's vaccine availability. Uh, so that if they have extra left over or people canceled last minute, they're able to hit that list of people mm -hmm. who fit the the good criteria then. Okay. Yeah, and those are individuals that have registered and are awaiting their appointments. So it's not like a secret list. There's no secret waiting lists. This is just a um, people that are eligible for the vaccine and are waiting to make their appointments. And I know I'm seeing different stories in other places, other states, you know, and I know it's kind of confusing because everybody's kind of clamoring for these vaccines. Um, but Wisconsin is responsible for our rollout. So the stuff that we're maybe hearing about in California or Tennessee or whatever might not necessarily be the same way that we're doing it here. Yeah, every state is doing a little differently. Every county is doing it slightly different, but we're lucky in our county because we have some really great health systems that have been working really hard to deliver a lot of vaccine in a short amount of time. Um, and you know, the, the DHS has a website now that you can see what the vaccine distribution is in our county. And they've been, they've been really going, doing well. They've been really, really working hard because it, I think it was 30% as of today, uh, oh my this gosh. Is February 15th of the age 65 plus uh, have gotten a vaccine, which is great. You know, that's, there's a lot of work yet to do. Um, and, and in fact, my, you know, my colleague, Aaron, he looked at up the, the numbers and he said, um, let's see, 8,765 uh, or age 65 plus have been vaccinated in Marathon County. But just to give you a perspective of this, Katie, 25,000 need to be vaccinated. In our okay, county. so if you're 65 plus, get on that list, mm -hmm. talk to your doctor if you have that relationship, um, call your pharmacy, you should get on that list and get vaccinated. Yeah, call your, your healthcare provider. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, right. I'm super pumped. I have a million more questions, but I guess it's going to have to wait for next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Laura. You're amazing. Thanks to the Marathon County Health Department for using resources in this way and keeping us posted. Oh, thanks, Katie. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. I can't wait for your questions next week. Oh, you better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.